Habibi, biar baik. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. We, we are Supraj. Usually you see us traveling in Europe, but this time we are traveling to a very different country. We are going to India and we thought why don't we stop over for a few days and enjoy Dubai. So stay tuned with us as we explore Dubai and follow along as we show you around Dubai. And also at the end of our Dubai series, wait for the budget video as well. So let's explore Dubai now with Supraj. So today uh, we have booked a private tour uh, with Nature Guide app. It's a half day city tour and we will show you what we see. Our first stop is going to be in Old Dubai where we visit some traditional villages and visit the souks. So let's see how that turns out to be. Uh, so uh, with this tour, the thing is that there's also a pick up and drop so you can leave the location of your hotel or wherever you are in that particular moment. We do only share that information uh, with the tour guide and the tour guide will come pick you up and uh, take you to the tour and uh, yes, stay tuned with us to set up this uh, tour. This is how this road looked 30 years ago and this is how it looks today. It's also the skyline that we see from uh, far away. The whole skyline was recently constructed maybe 15 years back, 20 years back. But about 50 years back, it was a total desert area. This one is 120 years old and one is 300 years old. In the Dera area, we have the traditional market over here. Now, between these two areas, the Bar Dubai, area, the Bar Dubai area and the Dera area, we have a river that is called uh, Dubai Creek. So, um, in the past, before the discovery of oil, a lot of people that used to live in these villages, they used to work on the creek. So, this was a small fisherman town only. So, this was not a country before 1971. So, this country was formed on 1971 by the then king of Abu Dhabi called Sheikh Zayed. His name was Sheikh Zayed, that uh, big highway yeah. that is named on Sheikh Zayed. You might saw this image. So now this is the Sheikh Zayed. You may have seen his picture everywhere. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So this is Sheikh Zayed. So he is considered the founding father of the nation. We are in the Bar Dubai area and the buildings which you see here were made in 2018. It's not very old but they made it in the traditional way. So now we have got down and uh, it's our first stop. So we have old Dubai and new Dubai. So something Dubai which was originally there before the oil was found and afterwards you can see all the innovations and everything the new city which is a new Dubai. And right now we are at the old Dubai and we are going to explore and also show you the views here. So we came into a traditional house to see how it was. Uh, as soon as you enter you have a very big living room kind of area or a drawing room. It's where the elders of the family would gather and discuss family matters. Uh, it's also the place where you would greet guests when they arrive at your place. We were served with some delicious Arabic coffee. It's not like the traditional coffee, it has a lot of saffron, cardamom and some coffee beans mixed in it as well. So that's why they call it coffee, but it's uh, different over here. The place looks really beautiful, very different uh, because we were at the new, the new Dubai and from, uh, we came from there till here. It's, it's very different. You can see a day and night difference. Also. Yeah. The life over here was very hard and our guy just told us that there were days where people had to survive just on dates. They would not have any food or water and just by eating dates they had to survive in the desert and their traditional attire, it's a multi-purpose club. It protects them from the heat, it, uh, it's used to protect their face from sandstorms and they can also use it to pray. Towers are present in all traditional old houses and it was used for ventilation. They are open from all four sides and since there were no ACs back then, they used to use these towers and that's why you see it on every house. Here we see a long boat which was typically made uh, uh, for racing and this is an original one which won the race in 1972. Old Dubai, or before the modernization of Dubai, it was just two villages and the souks. The village which we earlier visited and the village that you see over here now. Now going to our second stop, the souk. We have to take the traditional wooden boat, the Avra. And we're going to be doing that now, so we will see it. And we will show you guys the Avra and the souks in just a few minutes. We're now at the Dubai Creek. You can get a glimpse of the Avras. We're now going to get on to the Abra. Now 
yesterday in the Abra. We're going to be going to the bone soup and the spice soup. The boat has started and it will take only five minutes to reach our destination. Uh, but the view around here, mainly the first time, it's uh, Now we are in Spice Market, which is in Dera, Dubai. So we have different types of spices. Some of them are spices, some of them flowers, some of them herbs. And uh, I will explain you like what are the benefits, what are the uses, and how we use it. Okay, while I'm explaining, you can ask your questions as well. Okay. So we start from the flowers. You can see different types of flowers. Here we have rose and uh, lavender, rose petals, and many other like marigold. These three types of cinnamons you can see. Actually, this one from Vietnam. This is from Sri Lanka, and this one from India. It's very strong. Yeah, spice. Yeah. It's very delicious. This is spice actually for the vegetables, for soup, for salad. Now close your eyes and it smells good, okay? 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Everything's open, yeah? <laughs> it, it runs like a magic, you know? It's very nice, yeah. And guys, after this all, we have the king of the spices. Um, here. Do you know who is the king of the spices? Karma. Uh, no saffron. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is uh, pure saffron. Saffron is a spice, it's most famous, and we can say that it's expensive, expensive spice in the world. Yes. Yes. So, saffron, you can smell. This is the saffron from Iran. We bought from Iran because Iran has the best one quality and quantity of saffron. So, uh, saffron actually people are used to be in cooking, like rice, and even in India we have very nice kheer, you know? Yes. Yeah. Kheer, dud, this aju hai. So, we can use in kheer, in rice, and the people's local, you know? Like the Arabic people, we use in everything, like tea, coffee, when they drink tea, coffee, or milk, or anything, right. they put some saffron. Actually, saffron has more than 150 benefits. It's good for the joint pain, for back pain, it fights against cancer, for brain memory, even many, many also hidden benefits for ladies. For ladies in the time of pregnancy, it works like a higher nutrient, and for gents, it's also very nice like hidden benefits. <laughs> How have you been enjoying this video so far? Do you like it? If so, please leave us a like and do subscribe to our channel. We would appreciate it very much. After looking at all the spices, now we enter the second souk, the gold souk, which has more than 380 shops. You see dresses, purses, handbags, tiaras, everything made from gold over here. This is the world's heaviest gold ring. It weighs 63 kilograms. See a lot of gold over here in the gold souk. If you come to the gold souk, always hold your partner's hand, otherwise it can be very expensive. Consider yourself once. Oh, but he promised he will get 63 kilo of ring for you. In my dreams, for sure. The guide has given us around 15 minutes to roam around, uh, to do our vlogging, to do some shopping. It's because, uh, because also, as you saw, spice soup and then bone soup. So if you want to purchase maybe some spices or saffron or uh, to interest your panel. One thing you need to keep in mind when you come to these soups, they do haggle a little, so keep that in mind and don't just uh, accept whatever price they tell you. Yes, this was the tip given by our guide as well. Uh, people will uh, start calling you, they just don't go inside the shops and uh, uh, try to see a you know, few more shops and try to market 10 to 15 percent you can market and then you see which is the best price you get and then you can buy that stuff. And as we already told you, we booked our tour through Get Your Guide. Please know that this is not a sponsored video, although we wish it was. Uh, the benefit of Get Your Guide app is also like you can uh, get miles on your uh, parents account. We have not yet received, but uh, I hope you will receive that. Wow! It's just, it's like amazing to see a dress with gold, complete gold, you can see it right here. The way the innovation is done using all this gold is just incredible. Do come here, have a visit because at least you can see how the innovative things they have done it here, even if you don't want to buy anything. It's definitely worth coming to the gold soak and the spice soak. So after visiting the Souks, we are now going back towards Old Dubai. We are back in the traditional Abra boat and you see the sun is setting. We are now walking along the creek and heading back to our taxi to go to the next stop. 
if you have the time you can come over here sit along the creek have some food or drinks and enjoy the view right now behind us is museum of future this is voted as the one of the most beautiful buildings in the world and they've even won an award for it there are some arabic words written on this building which is by dubai king who is also a poet it means we cannot live for 100 years but we can make things which can live for 100 years there are seven floors inside the museum each floor has a different topic such as sustainability smart cities innovation in the field of medicine innovations in the field of space and things like that so one tip if we can give you book your tickets in advance we did not book ours in advance and we will not be going inside because of this so keep that in mind when you come to dubai so the next stop on our list today was the jumeira beach we are right now on the jumeira beach you can see it's uh, very quiet in the evenings uh, near the waves feel the cool breeze weather is really pleasant we are it's, it's nice after those heat hot weather the entire day behind us you see the burj al arab and also some other hotels this is a seven star hotel and a very expensive one so after spending some time on jumeira beach we come to our next stop which is another souk this is called souk madina jumeira this is a very high end souk and you will find uh, many high end cafes and restaurants inside and also rooftops the view from the rooftops is supposed to be very nice where you get the view on the whole uh, jumeira beach as well as the burj al arab so let's go inside and check it out now We have come to our next point uh, in the Palm Island, which is the point. You can see it here. From here, we can get the view of the Atlantis. There are also some restaurants and cafes over here, so you can come and spend some time, enjoy your evening. Here is the view of the Atlantis. Isn't it beautiful? It's a very expensive and luxury resort. You see the middle part of uh, just above the dome. That's the balcony of the suite, which costs one lakh thirty thousand dirham per night. Is this some place you would like to stay? I know we definitely would love to stay here one day. <laughs> We have reached our next stop, which is Burj Khalifa. But right now, we are not standing in Burj Khalifa, but at the Dubai Mall, where there is an entrance to Burj Khalifa. So the entrance is somewhere behind us. Our guide has gone to get the tickets for us. Once he is back, we will be entering and going up to the top of Burj Khalifa. And uh, let's see how the views look from up there. We have just stepped outside from Dubai Mall. We are going to watch the fountain display, which happens every half an hour. And the last one will be at 11 p.m. So. Keep that in mind as well. If you plan on staying late over here, and you think you can see something after 11 p.m. And just near this fountain, we have this Lord Burj Khalifa. After we finish our uh, fountain show, we will also go inside Burj Khalifa. And this is the view from the 125th floor. You get a 360 degree view from the top of here. 
and the views at night are simply stunning. We are now on the 124th floor. You have an outside area over here where you it's open from the top and you get some fresh air. You can still enjoy the nice views from behind. And how did you find this video? Was it useful to see Dubai with so fresh? Do let us know in the comments down below. And if you would like to know the budget for today, stay tuned for our video where we reveal the whole budget for our flight. And with this, we would like to end our video for today. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share. Because sharing is caring. And subscribe to our channel. You already haven't done so. See you on the next video. Bye.